So you want to turn your Twitch clips into TikToks? I'm going to show you the fastest, most efficient method to do so with the most eye-catching stuff. Let's go. So the first step to making your TikToks is, of course, to go ahead and name it. So for me, I'll just be making a TikTok. Uh, save it wherever you want. So I'm doing a Red Dead Redemption 2 clip. So I'm going to put it in the Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. All these settings do not matter for your TikTok. They will take whatever settings you want. Uh, it's further down the line that the settings really start to matter. So the next step to making your TikToks is to go ahead and start importing media. For me, it's this Red Dead Redemption 2 clip. So I'm going to throw it onto my timeline just like that. And this is when it starts to get a bit more complicated. So the most important step here is getting the clip into the TikTok format. And by that, you go up here, you click your uh, clip, you'll go to sequence, sequence settings, and you're gonna change the frame size here to be something that fits TikTok. So for, for the best results, you'll wanna go 1920 by 1080, not 10980, 1080, and you're gonna get nine by 16. Um, you can change the color spaces and, and hertz and things like that. I typically do not, but that's just based off me. You're going to click OK here. That is a big part of it because it is going to change this, obviously. And there you go. Once you have this in the TikTok format, you need to be able to crop this in and you need to have multiple layers of this video. So what I go to is I right click this. I unlink them. I'm going to copy this, move my playhead forward so it doesn't take up the existing video and then I do the same thing move the playhead forward paste and put it on top so you're gonna have three layers of the exact same video if you come to the playhead here play it they're not overlapping or anything it's just the same video stacked on top of each other because you unlinked them oh, no. so I like to work from the ground up when it comes to editing my TikToks but if you want to do it the other way and say start from up here and then go down to here I just do it from the bottom and then work my way up because it's easier so the first thing you're going to do is hide these top two layers you're going to come to this layer only you're going to double click it so it affects the effect controls and then you're going to go up to position here position and scaling is what i normally put it at you're going to come here and you're just going to scale it up until it fits the screen something like this because this is the blurred effect that's at the very bottom and these two are going to be your actual gameplay and webcam settings so while you have the bottom layer your blurred layer um selected you're going to come over here to the effects tab you're gonna go to, I just normally search for it. I do not know where it is, Gaussian blur. It ends up looking the best just because I think it, it really solidifies some of the look and the shading to the gameplay. So you're just gonna grab this, drag it on, and you're gonna see that it added this uh, Gaussian blur effect control panel. You're just gonna turn this blurriness up. You don't want it to be too blurry because you want to understand that it's still the gameplay, but just turn it up a bit. I normally go around 55. I think that's a good point because any gameplay or text I put over top won't be too ruined by this effect. So now it comes into the part of any of the gameplay scene. So what I like to do for this, I click on the next layer in the, in the, in the sequence here. I show it so it's like this. Obviously, this is a bit too zoomed out for TikTok. People aren't going to want to, they're going to scroll right past this video. It's not that eye-catching and it doesn't do anything great for you. So what you're going to want to do, click on it. And just like last time, double click so you're on this exact screen. Effect controls, scale, and just scale it up. Until so my webcam is on the left side here, but so if your webcam is somewhere else, you could do whatever. I like to scale it just past my webcam border here, so it's about that size. It's not perfect. It, it's sometimes when I'm playing other games, it is it is kind of showing off the sides. But this is the main focus. This is where the TikTok audience is really going to draw their eyes to, and it's really going to make them want to continue to watch your video and stay for that entire 30 or 60 seconds you have selected. So now onto the most important step, the really eye-catching part of your TikTok, or what will be your TikTok, is the webcam. Um, so what you're gonna do, show the layer again, so it brings up this screen. Double click, obviously it's gonna bring up this effect control panel, same thing we did in the previous two clips. What I prefer to do is I scale it up, so it's like this, over, and then I'm gonna place the webcam where I want the webcam to be. I have a square webcam, so I put it up, I'm gonna scale it back a little bit because I think it's a bit just too big. And you go left here. I think about there for this demonstration will be perfect. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into the next important part and that's clicking this square opacity mask. What it's gonna do is it's gonna hide the rest of your clip because it's a, it's a mask. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide from here over to where your webcam was. 
you're gonna cover your face. So it's only showing this part of the clip or your webcam portion. What I do then, zoom in about 150%, go up here. I'm gonna take these points and drag them to the four corners of my webcam. Frame, because I have a border on, on a stream. Go like this, I keep accidentally rotating it. Go like that, drag it over so it just shows the corners. Make sure these corners are perfect. Perfect. Just like that, you have a webcam implemented straight in. And you can see, I go back to fit, I play, everything's working flawlessly. Uh, one of the settings you might want to change while on the webcam border is the, Mac expa the mask expansion. I apologize. Uh, it's just going to make how much of the clip shows. So I have a pretty finicky border, so I like to do something like that. Uh, around three, just because it doesn't show everything. Uh, if I click off, you can see that it shows my animation that I have on my webcam. Just like that. You can see the clip play completely through oh, no, and no problems yep. whatsoever. Obviously, at this point, you can go in and adjust your audio levels. You can go in and adjust all of these individual portions, uh, different sizing, things like that. Kind of do your own thing. Hi, editing me. Uh, I realized I forgot to show you guys how to add subtitles. I'm going to do that real fast. Since now you have the clip playing and you have all the settings right, just like this, again, I am having to redo this because I forgot to record oh, how to no, put subtitles yeah. in the uh, video, but everything's working. What you're all going to do is you're just going to press, go back to the start or wherever your audio starts. So I'll go to here. Oh no, I the lasso. Oh no, I messed up the lasso is what I said. You're going to press T, you go like this, make a little box. Oh no, I messed up the lasso. And this thing, hover over the text, uh, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, for me, just for my TikToks, I think Comic Sans looks the best. I know it's a funny, funny joke, but it looks the best. This is the key important factor. Let me move my, my face cam here. The key important factor here is you need. So you're gonna go to text settings up here in the effects controls of the text or whatever. And the most important setting is you need to turn on shadow. Change this to black. You're gonna up this and up that. This is, you can read what those are. I don't wanna go into depth. I don't think it's important for the video, but just you wanna up this just a touch. It's just the, the, the shading and how far out it goes from the text. And then this is just the opacity of that line. And to make the text readable, especially on TikTok, it is very important to use that functionality of a shadow. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna scroll down on the text. Scroll down on the text. You're gonna to go to see position and scale here. You're gonna scroll up, click this. Make sure you're all the way to the left of your text. You're gonna click scale. You're gonna hit the arrow key or whatever you use to skip by one frame at a time, four times. One, two, three, four. And you're gonna go 120. Enter. One, two, three more frames back to 115 and now you'll see if I go to select my text here move it so it's just a bit out of the way it does this cool little effect where it kind of pops out it's just a bit of extra work and if you if you do it it's just it it's that one extra step that puts you above somebody else that's doing this exact same tutorial error that is just putting up clips as fast as they possibly can it gives you that one extra step and that's really going to help you stand out on TikTok, which is the point, getting clicks, getting uh, interactions from comments, getting likes, stuff like that is super important when you want to come and grow your Twitch outside of Twitch. And that's making good content. And that is what those little tiny details are gonna add. So that's the basics of how to add subtitles. There's a bunch of other stuff you can do, text, shadows, animation, stuff like that. I don't wanna get into that today. This is just a quick and efficient tutorial on how to do subtitles. So now that I have my subtitles put in, uh, I guess we're ready to just go ahead and watch the video just to give you guys an example and for you to understand how this kind of um, comes together in the end. Here you go. Oh no, I thought the lasso. Yep. Oh no. What are you doing? What's going on? You gas grenade yourself? I guess, yes. Yes, I did. Am I damaged by this? Oh my god, I just got hit by a... 
Fucking Christ. I don't want to talk about what I just did. So, there it is. That is how you quickly and efficiently make TikToks out of your Twitch clips. If you liked today's video, uh, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you want. I'll be answering comments down in the uh, comment section below. Uh, any questions you might have, feel free to answer. I have a Discord. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 6 to whenever I go to bed. And yeah, I'd love to see you guys come out.